Hey, this is Chris with Hilux Optics. Today we're shooting the M1200 XLR on the 6.5 Creedmoor. I have this Defiance uh, Deviant Action in a KRG Whiskey Chassis. Today we're going to start off by quick zeroing at 25 yards for 300 yards. According to my ballistics, I need to be about 0.8 inches low at 25, and that should put me pretty close at 300. Alright, let's get started. So I just literally took this out of the box and threaded on the 50 millimeter anti-reflective device. Now I'm gonna go the way. Inside the bottom of the Artscope base, there is a recoil lug that's milled directly on the bottom. Uh, as you can see, the, the length of the base is slightly longer than my receiver, but that's fine. The mount itself will grab onto the 45 degree lip of the rail, and as long as I have this recoil lug sitting flush with one of these uh, slots, we're good to go. So I'm going to take it out, I'm going to unlock the thumb screws, set it on the rail, and get my eye relief set for my shooting position. Okay, great. So here's another tip. Because of the, the forces of recoil, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I push the scope up so that the recoil lug is contacting the face of the Picatinny rail. Once it's there, I, you can tighten down the thumb nuts on the side. All right, let's check that and see what the eye relief is. Okay, so I have it too far back. I'm gonna move it one slot up. So put two slots up. There we go. So here, we're ready to set the cam setting. Um, I used a ballistic calculator for my ammo and I determined that a good initial setting will be around 580. So, to set the cam setting, you can loosen the sc set screw on the calibration ring. So, take a flathead screwdriver, loosen that up one to two turns. So I'm gonna turn it over so I can see the screw. Okay, that now, as you can see, the cam is disengaged. I'm going to turn it over so I can see the position of that indicator arrow on the trajectory cam. So to set the cam setting, you want to line up this indicator arrow on the trajectory cam with the appropriate setting on your, on your calibration ring. So here, I'm lining it up to 580. Once I have that set, I'm going to tighten down the set screw. Okay, let me just do a little bit more, make sure, okay, great. So to confirm that the cam setting is set, as you turn the cam in automatic mode, the cam setting indicator arrow should always be pointing to your cam setting. So I just got the scope mounted on the rifle and we're gonna get it sighted in right now. So. Uh, we do have access to a 300 yard range, but something that I like to do is to get it sighted in at 25 yards. It makes it a little easier to get on paper when we get out to 300 yards. Alright, let's go. So I just ran the ballistics. At 25 yards, we need to be about uh, 8 tenths inches low from where we're aiming. So my center crosshair will be right here, and I want the bullet impacts to be impacting right around here. Great, so now, next step, we're gonna bore sight the rifle. So we have our target set up at 25 yards. Now I'm gonna pull out the bolt, make sure the gun's empty, and then line up my bore with my target. All right, let's see. We'll use the sandbag for support. What I'm doing now is I'm looking through down the bore from the breech end. I'm trying to find a target uh, on the on the paper that I can center directly in the middle of the bore. Uh, there might be some variation, but the purpose of this is so that once we get to shooting on 25 yards, we'll get on paper. So I'm 
I'm actually going to be framing the bottom left target. And I'm going to look through the bore. Got it set. Try not to touch the rifle or disturb it at all. Well, I should have removed the caps first too. Let me, let me try that again. So I'm going to double check, make sure my bore is aligned. might need to fiddle with the bag a little bit. Okay, great. Have it centered on the target. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to look through the scope and try to align the crosshairs roughly with the same thing that the bore is lined up with. Just off a little bit. So before you start shooting, check your parallax setting. Uh, we're shooting at 25 yards, so you want to turn the parallax to 25 yards. So when I'm zeroing, I like to see the target a little bit bigger. And this is the perfect application for manual mode. So the, the way to do that is you first you loosen this set screw on the range ring, the ring closest to the eyepiece. A couple turns, you don't need to back it out all the way, and you pull it back so you decouple it from the rest of the cam. Next, you want to make sure your cam is at the lowest setting. So what does that mean? If you can see on the side, the cam is slightly elevated. I want to turn the cam so that the arrow on the eyepiece is lining up with the lowest cam setting or the lowest tick mark on the calibration ring. Now you see that the cam is completely flat and it's at its lowest setting and I can turn the magnification ring without adding any elevation in the base. So I'm going I'm to set it at about 12 power. Make sure your parallax is set. I got it set to 25 yards. So another thing, if you're in manual mode, just check and make sure that the cam is at the lowest position. The arrow, eyepiece indicator arrow on the eyepiece should be pointed at the lowest cam setting up, up top. All right. Rolling on all fronts. Great. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do the target number one. You are one half inch high. One half inch left. Actually, we'll call it three quarters left. down. Send another one. I'll go same target. All right. You are one inch low, one quarter inch left. Pretty close to where we want to be. So one inch, so I need to bring it up two tenths of an inch at 25 yards, that's about 0.8 MOA, so I'll bring it up three clicks. Okay, I think I did, I did three clicks right also. This should put us pretty close. Send one more. Your windage is good, you went slightly lower.
Let's see. Could be the ammo. Well, nice. let's, let's try one more. That doesn't look like an old tree. <laughs> <laughs> You are slightly more than one half inch low. Windage good. Okay, let's take it out to 300. So we drove out the target to 300 yards and now we're going to get sighted in there. Just a little note for the M1200, although in the manual it says that you need to calibrate it at 300 meters, you can calibrate it for 300 yards. And if you do so, you need to make sure when you enter your information in the ballistic calculator, you're, you're selecting yards instead of meters and you're matching up the ballistic data for yards. So if, because I'm zeroing in at 300 yards, my maximum range will be 1200 yards. I think you might have been spot on from the trace. Yeah, it looked like it was pretty sad. Go ahead and give me another and then we'll head out and take a peek. Okay. Is this tough because this dot is like the same size as that like one inch thing? So I can't really see if I'm on it or not. Mm -hmm. Still seems good, maybe a bit right. Yeah. But wind's coming in from nine now. Yeah, I feel it. Push, pushing us this way, pushing us to the right. That's good. All right, let's go check it out. So with our 25 yard quick zero, I was holding over here for the 300 yard target and these are our shots right here. So it looks like we're fairly close, about an inch and a half low, an inch and a half, maybe two inches to the right. The, keep in mind, when we're making our adjustments at 300 yards, um, the MOA is an angular measurement. So it might be a quarter inch at 100 yards, but at 300 yards, a quarter MOA is three quarter inches. So this is about an inch and a half right here, so that actually that's about two clicks. So we're just two clicks off. So I just put my turret caps back on. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally bump my zero. Downrange, we're going to be adjusting our point of impact by adjusting our cam setting. So as a general rule of thumb when you're fine tuning your cam setting, if you're, if you're shooting at different distances and you find yourself shooting consistently lower or consistently higher, you may need to fine tune the cam setting. If you're shooting low, adjust the cam setting lower by one to two tick marks. So this is on 580, maybe 570 or 560. If you're shooting high, adjust the cam setting higher. So maybe 590 or 600. So something to keep in mind, the M1200 does require 300 yard or meter zero. At 100, in between 100 to 300 yards, anything closer, we'll probably be shooting a little bit high. So for the 100 and 200 yard targets, I'm gonna hold a little lower from center. All right, I'm just gonna go for the steel on the outside. Okay. Impact. So 200. Also, because the minimum cam setting is for, or the minimum distance is 300, I don't need to adjust the cam at all. 
So I'm keeping it at the lowest position. I could use manual mode and turn it on a higher power. All right, 200? 200, left target. Impact. All right, 300. Impact, one inch or two inches low from center. Windage good. All right, 400. So now I have to dial the cam. So if we were shooting at an unknown distance, but we knew the size, I could frame that target within the reticle. But actually, yeah. But I'm just going to turn it to 400 since we know it's at 400. I'm going for the one with the orange. Okay. Impact, center. 500, do the hang and gong? Yep. For 500 and 600 yards, we use the frame aim shoot technique. The 500 yard target is about 36 inches in diameter, so I just frame the target within a mil on the reticle. I'm not gonna look at the, the, the cam, and I'm just gonna shoot. Impact, two inches above center, windage good. All right, let's finish off at six. Uh, we'll go for the big gong on the hill, hillside, the leftmost one. All right, so I think for the 600 yard target, the large gong on the left is 30 inches in diameter. I use the framing scale on the bottom left quadrant of the reticle to range this target. Once I've bracketed the 30 inches, I bring the center dot onto the target. Wind from left, five miles. <laughs> Technical difficulty, I'm just gonna shoot it without it. All right, I'm gonna hold left edge. Impact, center. All clear. Nice. So, that worked pretty well. Um, we didn't even have to fine tune our setting, so if you do a little homework before, it saves you a lot of work at the range and saves you a lot of ammo. Great.